What's up, you guys? It's Scott from Fly Rides. I am back from Eurobike stateside, but that doesn't mean that our Eurobike coverage is over. Actually, it is just starting out. Today, you're getting an overview of some of my favorite stuff from Eurobike that you're getting clips of right now, starting off with Reese and Mueller's 2020 lineup. They've really refocused on integration, connectivity, and also completely redesigned the control technology suspension setup. I spoke with Jorg, the head of media relations. Let's hear what he had to say. Yeah, uh, of course, uh, control technology is a big topic of 2020, um, uh, and uh, integration is another big topic for Risa Miller in 2020. The integration of the battery, cockpit versions for uh, the displays, uh, integration of the motor, the new uh, Bosch Performance Line 6 motor, and this is a big topic for us in 2020. And of course, design of our bikes. With 1000 watt hours, you have all you need, definitely. And uh, for most people, the 500 watt is um, more than enough, mm -hmm. but for those of the guys who need more, uh, we have the 1000 watts, and I think this is the best option we can offer. We will have a complete breakdown of the Reese and Mueller 2020 lineup. It has some of the coolest stuff I have seen in a while, you guys. I'm very excited about it. I will also have a production facility tour coming up soon. That's going to be from Reese and Mueller's brand new production facility where all their bikes are hand built. I cannot describe how cool this place was. Later on, I was able to sit down with Anya from Flyer Bikes. So Flyer is a company that has been doing e-bikes longer than almost anybody. They carry the Panasonic motor, that's the Panasonic GX motor, and they also have the Bosch line of motors as well. So pretty versatile, I would say they have some great full suspension. You're seeing right now a full suspension trail rider. They also had a lot of marketing towards women, one of the only companies that did that. So I wanted to talk with Anya a little bit about that. Yes. Um, I, I have to say, though, I, I do, I don't know if this is something you guys intentionally do or not, more marketing towards females, which I think is, like, great. There's not, yeah. uh, you don't see that a lot. Are you guys pretty heavily focused on uh, female riders? We, is that... we have, yeah, we, we're trying to, to, uh, to focus on them. We, um, but we don't have like a special female model. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm 160, so I'm using the, okay. the S models mm -hmm. for, of our mountain bikes. And, and then you when, fit that. Yeah, it's, it's fine for me. Cool. Yeah. So it's fine for small women. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes to city bikes um, and trekking bikes, we have also options with 26 inches uh, wheels. Oh, okay, cool. So, and then we also have a, a compact bike, which is also nice for smaller people. I have. Uh, one one viewer in particular who's going to be excited but disappointed that you're not in the states yet because she's about your size and uh okay so julie sorry but they're not in the states sorry. <laughs> so sorry julie but i do think that is a step in the right direction even having marketing towards women now what is going to be in the states pretty soon is the panasonic gx ultimate motor um, this motor was pretty incredible, 28 miles per hour on the one I was on, 90 newton meters of torque, 250 nominal watts, uh, really, really solid bike, and it's got a, automatically comes with a 630 watt hour battery. I was pretty impressed, I mean, I had never heard anything about it, so I'm really hoping that that's going to be available soon. Of course, there are more than just bikes at Eurobike, so let's check out some tech. So one of the new things from Avis this year, you guys, is this alarm, so instead of it being a lock, it is actually just an alarm that you can attach to your bike and um, from there basically uh, it, it works similar to the Bordeaux lock. So you go in here, if you shake it around a little bit, it starts to give a pre-alarm like that and uh, basically you know the drill from there. It gets very loud. They're calling this the U-Grip Bordeaux this year. So it's going to be uh, similar to the Bordeaux. What's cool about these guys though is basically there is a dummy transport lock right here. That's the one that's attached to you right now so that you don't have to unlock it, the, um, the lock every single time you want to essentially lock up the bike. So if you want to just transport with it, this does not lock. So basically you can just pull it out. It saves you a little bit of time. I think that's a pretty cool little uh, piece of innovation from them. So this is some pretty cool new tech from Magura, you guys. These are going to be brakes, hydraulic disc brakes that are integrated into the handlebars. So I'll try to get a better shot right here. You can see right there, super low profile. They're doing it on an MT7s. And it's basically, the result is that all that there is on the outside of the handlebar is the brake lever, and that's it. Still apparently very easy to bleed, um, not, you know, you don't have to do a ton of work to get in there and do that. Your tech should be able to do it pretty easily. 
um, but some really, really exciting new stuff. I think this is going to be probably what we start to see from more and more companies in the future. So if you follow this channel regularly, you know we have a heavy focus on bikepacking. Extra Wheel has come out with an incredible trailer for bikepacking this year. It caught my attention because it was on a Fat 6 9.0, and I've gotten questions about trailers for that bike. So essentially what happens is it's a quick-release system that goes through a through-axle that they give you. They also make it in quick-release style if you have a quick-release and a bunch of different axle uh, widths. But basically, it's just a trailer that you can attach an extra wheel onto the back to. And then they have a crazy wide assortment of bags and panniers. I will be doing a full review on these guys shortly. Uh, keep watching for that. Cross wheel wins for sex appeal alone in terms of bike packing. This I did like, though. They have, uh, it's similar to the Ortley, but they actually have a rack that attaches as well for that seat post bag, so it doesn't sag as much. But these are just sexy panniers, man. <laughs> they looked so good on this Trek bike. I had to get some footage of it. This will be included as well. We'll probably do a full breakdown on these guys, but I wanted to mention them briefly because the design is just beautiful. They also don't just stop at bike packing. They have a full setup for both touring and then commuting as well. So um, what you're going to be seeing here, that's still the um, front bag for the bike packing. But now we've got the uh, bike touring setup. Okay, so you've got panniers in the back, a really big handlebar bag in the front. And again, it's just the design of these are just so nice. Of course, you guys know Ortlieb, right? But this year they have e-bike specific panniers. Now what makes them e-bike specific is the question. A lot of people have e-bike specific products, quote unquote. There's some cool stuff on these. So they have a battery bag. Uh, so that's in the back right there. Your pannier is going to have a battery compartment. Uh, a lot of people ask about carrying extra batteries and, uh, you know, where am I going to put it? I want to have an extra battery. I want extra range. Basically, they have a separate compartment you can see right there. The other thing that makes this e-bike specific is the handlebar bag can attach to any display via USB and lights up right there. You can see that. Nikolai has made an exclusive bike packing enduro kind of cross bike that was really, really cool. Um, not available in the States yet, but they're hand built frames and man, they were sexy. I just wanted you guys to know about them. You can't get it, but uh, I'll do a little review on it maybe at some point. But it's a nice little bike packing enduro mix. You can also just get it as an enduro bike. So, any viewers in Germany, please get one and let me know how it is. You guys want to see what $30,000 looks like? This is the trifecta right here. So this is just a little bit of a silly bike that I enjoyed looking at. It's not silly, it's actually very cool, but uh, not the type of thing we normally feature on the page, so I just wanted to give it a quick shout out. Super cool looking bike, and they have some neat marketing. I'll link to the page back, but this is called the trifecta, and uh, it's pretty much the most insane bike I have ever seen. So that is where I'm going to leave you guys for today. I'm going to do one more overview video of Festival Day, which was a wild event that I really loved. Like this video, subscribe to this channel. Most of the products you saw here are going to get a uh, more extensive breakdown. So if you want to see the more in-depth review of these bikes, subscribe. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We will see you next time.